Welcome back to Big Brain Time, everyone. It's been a while, so hopefully everyone's fall semester is going good. Now, without further ado, let's get right into it. Why did you click on this video? Is it because when you saw the thumbnail, you thought I was going to talk about farts? That would have been funny. Okay, no, I'm getting off topic. Don't worry, I won't be giving you any fart jokes in this video. It's low for a comedian, or whatever I am. But we will be talking about particles in the air that are silent, but deadly. Let's get started. Today, we are talking about air pollution. And to be more specific, I'm not talking about this kind. I'm actually talking about this kind. There are actually non-combustion related sources that pollute the air we breathe, such as roads, cow farts, damn it, and anything on Fox News. Most of these sources contaminate the environment without any burning whatsoever. But before we actually get to the specificities of road cause pollution, we should probably go over a couple things. The EPA, also known as Mother Nature's shitty attorney, has regulations set in place that monitor the air quality index by checking the percentages of certain emissions in the air. Now among these emissions is particulate matter. These fine particles suspended in the atmosphere can seriously affect your health. Exposure to particulate matter can cause people with existing heart conditions or lung disease to die early. It can also aggravate asthma, cause decreased lung function, and give you non-fatal heart attacks. Now if you're one of the few people in the world to think only about themselves, consider the following. These particles aren't doing any favors to the environment either. Because they're suspended in the air, they can be carried by the wind virtually anywhere, including water bodies like lakes and streams, making them acidic, thus harming aquatic life and, well, us. So unless you're impervious to Acid Man from Rick and Morty, you should be worried. Okay, scratch that. Even if you are impervious to Acid Man, you should still be worried. Now the smallest of these particles is 2.5 micrometers in diameter, and it's also conveniently called PM 2.5. Here's an example for size. A single sheet of paper from what is that a high school is 100 micrometers thick. It's as small as, insert phallic joke here, about 15.4 million people in the US live in places with levels of PM 2.5 above the national air quality standards. However, since the 90s, there has weirdly been a 36% decrease in PM 2.5 emissions. And this is not some sort of magic trick. This is mainly because governments around the world have put in place regulations to control these emissions. Now I'm sure you're wondering, Akash, if emissions are going down, why am I even watching this video? Now here's the catch. We don't know how accurate this data actually is. Yeah, vehicular and industrial emissions are the primary contributors of PM 2.5. And chemical reactions between sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides oxides nope okay in the atmosphere act as secondary sources but there are so many other human induced sources which are unaccounted for that researchers are still discovering this is like wanting 2020 to get better but before you know it news comes out that we won't have enough vaccines for everyone till 2024 wait that's real anyway a recent study at yale university you know that rich one that people Pay to get into and then have scams with like sports photos and stuff like that. Yep. Asphalt, what we use to lay roads, is in fact a significant contributor of PM 2.5. This was never thought to be the case before. This is like thinking Red Bull gives you wings, but then for some reason it doesn't. I should sue him. I'd make so much money. I'm, I'm gonna go sue Red Bull right now. It was found that asphalt emits a wide range of organic compounds into the atmosphere, which leads to the formation of substances called secondary organic aerosols, or SOAs for short. Now it's important to recognize SOAs because they are a major contributor of, you guessed it, the big boy, PM 2.5. Technically little boy, but I use big boy. But this isn't all. Scientists also found that at higher temperatures, there was an increase in the amount of emissions. When asphalt was subject to sunlight, the emissions escalated dramatically by a whopping 300%. So the moral of the story, I'm disappointed in NBC. If The Office had a sunroom covered in asphalt, we would have gotten more Dwight safety drills. Thank you for nothing. 45% of surfaces in US cities are paved, and this is without including the 20% of roofs, which are also paved, meaning that these surfaces have asphalt in them. 
in the entire country, 65% of the roads are paved. That's a lot of asphalt. And it's been happening right under our noses. Now you might be wondering, what in the world can we actually do about this? This is road shit. I'm not gonna go punch a construction worker and tell him to stop. Hey you, you can't be laying road here. There's asphalt in that, which means PM 2.5 is gonna be released, which is bad. And you, sir, should have a very nice day. I will not disturb you anymore. Here's the LaCroix. Honestly, I don't know why people ever drink these. It's just bubbly water, but I will leave this here and you should have a fun time. Bye. Okay, yeah, uh, that would not go too well. One thing we can do is to keep wearing masks. You heard me right. Masks can help keep PM 2.5 out of our respiratory system. But we have to solve the problem itself, not just a symptom of the problems. There are many companies that are into making roads with plastic or making them with minimal asphalt. I'll link those initiatives in the description. Check those companies out and help spread the word and provide aid. Now, if everyone does a small part, it'll help in a major way, just like any green or sustainable effort. So what are we talking about today? The roads we drive on could be causing just as much air pollution as the cars we drive. This is because asphalt, which is a primary material used in laying roads, emits organic pollutants, which break down into secondary organic aerosols, and PM 2.5, as I'm sure you all know, is not good for the environment and can have damaging effects on our health. Stay curious, my friends, and as always, thank you for watching. Hello! Thank you for watching this video. This is the first episode of season two and a lot of work went into making it from the team. If you liked any part of this video, be sure to leave a like. You can click right here to subscribe or you can check any of the videos from season one in these two boxes. Thank you for watching. This has been Big Brain Time.